I'm stressed out. This ain't even my wedding. I don't need that. These are fictional characters. And I'm over here stressed out as if this is my wedding day. It's Jess. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the next episode of Unread the Big Question. We're playing as Sophie. We're getting married to Joe. We got an old flame named Rich and it's nothing but mess. It's nothing but mess. We got one more day. Today is the last day before my wedding to Joe. Will it happen? I don't know. That's a bar for you. That rhymes. Listen, I don't even want to do no big introduction. Let's just jump into the next day, y'all. All right, y'all, here's Anthony, the wedding planner. He said, don't forget about your dress fitting, Sophie. I'll see you at the church this afternoon, okay? And I said, won't do, see you there. Oh, won't do, like, I won't forget about my dress fitting, <laughs> okay? Okay, I got confused for a second. I was like, won't do what, girl? Here you go. <laughs> you ain't coming to the wedding or not? All right, y'all, here's Joe, my fiance. He said, morning, beautiful. My mind wandered as I was running this morning and I ended up halfway home to Silver Lake before having to turn back to Daniels. I was thinking about how homesick I felt in the years after my parents died. Homesick for the people and the place I could never go back to. After the car accident, I pushed myself at everything, school, then college, then work. At first it was to escape the loneliness, but then I was always hoping for that payoff or reward something to make me feel safe again. Then I met you. You feel like home to me, Sophie. And when I met you, I got everything I've been hoping for all these years. So on the day before our wedding, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being you and for always being there for me. I love you. We really don't deserve Joe, man. He's a good man, Savannah. I don't understand why we keep treating Joe like trash and he's actually a good man. We have run across some horrible men in these unread series, okay? Joe is not one of them. He is not one of them at all. And I'm so mad that Sophie is playing with this man like this and jumping the fence between him and Rich. Like, he don't deserve this. He does not deserve this. All right, y'all, here's Violet, my best friend and maid of honor. I said, Violet, where are you? She said, I'm at the mall, why? I said, I'm at the bridal store sobbing in the fitting room. She said, oh, you big girly girl. <laughs> I said, not the dress. Joe just sent me the most beautiful message. Right, he did send you a beautiful message. I feel like the worst human being alive. You should feel like the worst human being. <laughs> you should. He's this amazing, sensitive guy who's so happy to be getting married. And all I've wanted to do this week is run away. Not to mention Rich. What's wrong with me? She said, stop beating yourself up. Nothing else happened between you and Rich. Besides, better before the wedding than after, right? Like you said, it was a moment of weakness, but you put him behind you. So you got nothing to feel guilty for, okay? I said, shoot, gotta go, the seamstress. Meet me at home before the rehearsal. And she said, sure thing, see you soon. All right, y'all, here's Rich. Rich texts me and says, Sophie, I've been up all night thinking. I'm just gonna go ahead and say what I shouldn't say. Don't marry him. I said, Rich, don't. <laughs> don't do this. He said, I can tell your heart's not in it. And I think you and I have a shot at being happy. I said, I couldn't do that to Joe. He said, it was your decision to get married, wasn't it? You can just as easily decide not to. I said it would break his heart. He said, if you don't break it now, you'll just end up breaking it in a few years time. I said, I do have feelings for you, but Joe and I have a real relationship. We've been together for years. I just can't throw it all away. He said, what we have is real too, Sophie. I love you. I said, you do? And he said, yes. I realize now that I always have, and I'm here. I'm in LA for good. I'm gonna be around for you this time and for Noah too. You can count on me this time. And I said, I have to go to the church for the rehearsal now. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, mess. This is messy. All right, y'all, here is the work group chat. Jenna said, hey everyone, don't forget to be at the church at five for the rehearsal. And Madison put thumbs up. Okay. All right, here's the wedding plans group chat. This is with Anthony, my wedding planner, and my mom. Those are the two people in this chat. Anthony said, hi, Sophie. I'm already at the church prepping for the rehearsal. Isn't it beautiful? That's cute. 
mom said beautiful the stained glass windows so elegant but we should talk about where we're going to hang the flowers in the morning i have some ideas <laughs> anthony said now why doesn't that surprise me mom said you'll be glad to see the back of me won't you anthony said not at all mrs h it's been a pleasure with a winky face emoji mama i will be glad to see the back of you i'm ready for you to get on that plane and go on about your business because all you've been doing is being in my business the entire week the entire week probably two weeks on the suggestions channel you've been all up in our business i'm ready for you to go home find something else to do all right here's rich again y'all he got a story clarity <laughs> not him being on top of the mountain and thinking about me thinking about the kid y'all all right y'all madison has a story let's check madison's story y'all madison is recording me looking at my phone i'm i'm looking real concerned <laughs> but why madison recording me why you being paparazzi sis mind your business i text violet i said the way jenna and madison are filming everything is really getting on my nerves i feel nauseous she said is it this church pretty ominous in here i said violet <laughs> she said what i said i have to tell you something rich asked me not to marry joe he said he wants to be with me violet said oh my god are you seriously thinking about it what are you gonna do i said right now i have no idea is it just nerves am i stupid to even consider it joe's amazing right violet said of course he is he seems like a wonderful person but I don't know, Soph, you haven't seemed all that happy lately, and you don't seem to be able to stay away from Rich. It's true. I said, I can't believe this is the way I feel on the day before my wedding. She said, I can't tell you what the right thing to do is. And I said, F, when is this rehearsal going to end? And she put a straight face emoji. Y'all, this is, this is stressful. This is stressful. All right, y'all, here's the work group chat. Daniel said, what's up with the bride-to-be? Jenna said, you don't look very happy, so what's up? And Madison said, it looks like someone's got a case of the jitters. I said, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Jenna said, oh, don't worry. Anthony's going to take care of everything. All you need to do now is go to dinner, have a good night's sleep, and dream of your future hubby. By this time tomorrow, you and Joe will be married, and you can just relax and enjoy the party. Daniel said, yeah, I promise not to make any more speeches, about Sophie at least. Joe said, geez, now it's my turn. And Madison said, do not kill the mood, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel said, okay, okay. Looks like you're off the hook, Joe. And she said, that's the spirit. Uh, Daniel is a menace. <laughs> Daniel is a menace. All right, y'all, here's Jenna. Jenna texts and said, hey, Sophie, I could tell you were a bit nervous this afternoon. Just wanted to let you know that I'm here if you need help with anything. You and Joe are the most lovely and genuine couple I know. You were made for each other. I can't wait to see you get married. I said, thanks, Jenna. That's really sweet of you with a heart. And she put three hearts. All right, y'all, here's Rich. Rich said, Sophie, <laughs> I said, I'm sorry. He said, if you really want to get married, then I'll be happy for you. But if you change your mind and decide you want to give us a shot, I'll be waiting for you tomorrow at the coffee shop we went to in Venice. Y'all, I hope I don't have to make the decision, like suggestions. <laughs> I just want to sit and watch. I don't want to be a part of no decisions. I hope that ain't how this story is supposed to end. Okay, y'all, I have a story. So hold on. Tokyo. Oh, that's my mama, y'all. Okay, this is... We at dinner. I forgot about that. <laughs> we got the rehearsal dinner. All right, y'all. Here is Kai. And I don't know who Kai is. I intentionally did not like read his messages when I was doing the introduction to this, to this series. I have no idea who this man is. <laughs> but he just said like, hey, Sophie, congrats. I'm volunteering for a healthcare project in Nepal. I don't know who he is. <laughs> like, it, the game doesn't tell me who he is. But he messaged me today and said, good luck for the big day tomorrow, Sophie. I'm about to set off into the mountains on the Annapurna trek, but I'm thinking of you. Can't wait to hear about it when I get back. Like, I have no idea who this man is. <laughs> don't know. All right, here's Anthony, my wedding planner. He said, hi, Sophie. Here we are the night before the wedding. Christina's coming over early tomorrow morning to do your hair and makeup. Then the florist delivering flowers 
and we have a little time to have a bite to eat and make sure everything's ready. Then the car will come and collect you. Violet and your mom will take you to the church. Get a good night's sleep and I'll see you tomorrow at the church. 3 p.m. sharp. Sharp. All right, y'all, here is the Henderson family chat. This is Aunt Alice. She posted a video. I promise it's short. I've got it on cards, so I won't ramble. <laughs> Shot of this. It's my mom. <laughs> Sophie. I know I'm not very good at expressing my emotions, and I probably have not told you enough how proud I am of you. But I am so proud. And I know if your dad was here, He'd be proud too, sweetheart. I wish he was here to see the life that you've built for yourself. You know, your amazing friends. <laughs> your fantastic job. And now, a wonderful husband to share it all with you. Your dad and I always hope that you would find somebody like Joe who's kind and caring and supportive like you are. Yes, Joe. Joe, Joe. Somebody will always be there for you, sweetie. So, uh, Sophie, you've got it all. Here's to you, Sophie. 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 <laughs> Cheers to Sophie. Aunt Alice said, what a beautiful speech, Anne. And Mom said, I meant every word of it. And Margaret said, look, I got a picture of them both afterwards. Oh, that's cute. Mom said, that's a good one. Uncle Paul said, I was talking to Joe earlier and he was telling me all about his parents and his foster parents. I had no idea. You found a good one there, Sophie. I told y'all, he's a good man. He's a good man, Savannah. Here is Joe speaking of my good man. I text him. I said, Joe, I need to talk to you. I'm having second thoughts. Oh, God. Girl. <laughs> Joe said, what? Is this a joke? I said, no, I'm sorry. He said, what the hell? This is the night before our wedding, girl. What's wrong with you? How could you leave until now to bring this up? I said, I'm just worried we're making a mistake. And he said, why? You said you love me. You said you wanted to get married. I can't believe you're putting me through this right now. I said, Joe, do you honestly feel like we live a full life together? We rarely go anywhere or do anything new. Everything's about work. He said, I thought you wanted to focus on your career. I said, I did. And he said, I've done everything I can to support you. What more do you want? I said a life together instead of an endless string of business meetings. Is that so much to ask? He said, I thought we did have a life together, Sophie. I said, isn't there a part of you that's worried this is the wrong decision? He said, God, maybe a tiny part of me, the college kid in me who's scared of settling down, but I've outgrown him. I want to move forward. I want us to be a family and build a future together. I said, I know you want to be a family, Joe. I just think you might've picked the wrong girl to do it with. He said, Jesus, what does that even mean? So that's it. You really can't go through with this? It's over? I said, no, I don't know. I don't want to lose you, Joe. He said, okay, okay, listen, we'll do more together. We'll travel. The honeymoon's just the beginning, I promise. But right now, all of our friends and family have flown into town to see us get married. Can we sign up for pottery class or something afterwards? <laughs> Not the pottery class. I said, right. And he said, I was kidding, girl. Come on, Soph. I love you. Everybody's waiting. I said, I know. I don't want to let them down. He said, and I love you. Good. So let's do this. Let's get married. I said, let's do this. He said, okay. You had me scared there, sis. I said, I'm sorry. I'm going to get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. And he said, see you tomorrow, beautiful. Y'all. <laughs> Oof, this is wow. This is a roller coaster. All right, y'all. Joe has a story. It's finally about to happen. <laughs> is it, Joe? Is it about to happen? All right, here's Aunt Alice. Family is the most important thing, isn't it? 
That's a cute picture. Okay, I text Violet. I said, you still awake? She said, yeah, what's up? I said, I don't know if I can do it, Vi. I don't know if I can go through with tomorrow. She said, you can, but you don't have to. Not if you don't want to. I think maybe Sophie is supposed to say, how would I explain it to everyone? I think that's what it's supposed to. I think that's how this, this message is supposed to go. But how would I explain it to everyone? Violet said, F that noise. It's not about everyone else. They'll get over it. This is your life and you have to do what's best for you. But only you know what that is. Y'all, good Lord. <laughs> I'm stressed out. This ain't even my wedding. I don't need that. These are fictional characters. And I'm over here stressed out as if this is my wedding day. So y'all, that is the end of day seven. Tomorrow is the wedding day. Tomorrow is the wedding day. I have no idea <laughs> what Sophie is gonna do. Zero. I have no idea. Thanks so much for watching y'all. Tomorrow's the last day of this. Listen, listen, I might... I don't know, I might change my clothes and put on, I don't got no veil or nothing. I was about to dress in wedding clothes, but I ain't, I, I, ain't no, I don't have any wedding clothes. I don't have nothing. I was about to get dressed up. I don't know. Maybe I'll get dressed up. Maybe. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. What do y'all think Sophie is going to do? Do y'all think that she's going to go along with this wedding? Do y'all think that's going to happen? Let me know what y'all think. But thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.